Good afternoon everybody. First of all, on uh, behalf of the Italian Navy Chief of the Navy and also on behalf of uh, Rear Admiral Ciappina, that is uh, the Naval Aviation Department Director, uh, thanks a lot for uh, inviting us to this uh, very important seminar. Uh, we are very pleased to be here today and to present you uh, the way forward into the fifth generation uh, embarked on board uh, our carrier for the Italian Navy. This is the agenda of this briefing today. Uh, a quick uh, uh, flyby on the Italian Naval Aviation Organization and uh, about the strike embarked uh, component. Then we will talk uh, about the transition from the heavier uh, actual capability that we still have uh, into the F-35 Bravo capability on board our carrier. Talking also about challenges, the challenges that we are facing. And then we'll talk also about carrier strike group uh, and F-35 Bravo, more focus on interoperability and interchangeability within the Italian MOD and also with other partners and allies. Talking about uh, naval aviation, uh, more than 30 years of carrier operations for the uh, Italian Navy. Uh, everything started in uh, 1991 with the first landing of two carriers on board uh, our light carrier, ITS Garibaldi, that is still uh, in service right now. And then we, we started using the carrier basically, employing our carrier strike group ba based on uh, ITS Garibaldi in uh, several scenarios. Uh, we will see later what kind of operation we, we took part. In 2009 arrived uh, our actual uh, carrier, ITS Kabul. It was commissioned in 2009, and so we moved our carrier capability on board ITS Kabul. In March 2021, after uh, completing the adaptation work of uh, ITS Kabul to F-35 Bravo standards, we uh, completed uh, the ready for, operational uh, ready for Operational campaign, a very important campaign in order to certify F-35 Bravo operation on board uh, our uh, Italian carrier. And in July 2021, the first uh, Italian Navy F-35 Bravo landed on board our carrier. And from that moment, we started using uh, F-35 Bravo on board uh, uh, Kabul together with Harrier with a phasing in phase out profile that we will see uh, later on in the next slides. What's the organization of the Italian Navy? First of all, uh, my admiral, Real Admiral Ciappina, is both, he has two hats, two assignments. He is uh, the director of uh, the Naval Aviation Department at the Italian Navy Equator and uh, is also the commander of the Italian Navy Fleet in Iran. So basically, he is also responsible, responsible for the operational part of employing our uh, jet helicopter, everything that flies in the Italian Navy. Basically. So, at the Italian Navy Equator, at the Naval Aviation Department, we take care about uh, policy, procurement, sustainment, logistic, infrastructure, personnel, we're talking about like uh, uh, air, the personnel of the air components, research and development. Instead, when we move to the operational side of the house, we have a, a, another parallel structure that through our the other departments, we have the unmanned department, we have the logistic transport department, we have the, also the helicopter so full operational capability. By the end of 2030, once we complete the number of the 15 jets, Phase in of the F-35 Bravo and phase out of uh, Harrier are happening at the same time. And this is very challenging for us because the same squadron is, is still guaranteeing the capability of the Italian carrier with the Harrier and in the meanwhile is uh, 
growing the number of the F-35 Bravo, and we are learning how to use the F-35 Bravo. We are rewriting all the national tactics. So the Harrier Flying 9 uh, will, uh, will be operational up until uh, the end of 2000 and, uh, uh, and end of 2026, basically. But uh, starting from 2025, once we declare the IOC of the F-35 Bravo component, uh, F the Harriers will keep flying, but uh, in a, a non-operational status. The Harrier will still fly for another couple of years, all the way to the end of 2026, in order to support uh, the stand-up process of our F-35 Bravo capability. So basically, the Harrier will keep flying to do uh, red air, companion aircraft and also to maintain currency and proficiency of the Italian Navy pilots that will transition to F-35 Bravo. And in order to do this, uh, we applied something that we never did before. We dual qualified our pilots, the most experienced one. So an experienced Harrier pilots that transition on F-35 Bravo is still flying both Harriers and F-35 Bravo. And this, is a, this was a great game changer for us because uh, basically like this helped in order to create a fifth generation mindset inside the, the same squadron. So the same pilots that they know the tactics of the F-35 Bravo and they know the tactics of the Harrier, once they move back and forward flying Harrier and F-35 Bravo can better support uh, the growth, the stand-up process of our F-35 Bravo fifth generation capability. So we are very, very uh, happy about this choice. These are the three main pillars that we are following in order to transition to a fifth generation uh, capability uh, within the Italian Navy. So we identified three main pillars. So the infa infra infrastructure, the education and training, and the regulations. And as you can see at the bottom, the operational test and evaluation phase uh, is something that goes uh, pretty much the interest every column of uh, the three pillars that I'm talking about. Why? Because uh, with the operational test and evaluation that is currently ongoing, we can bet we can better set up, we can better shape every, each one of these three columns. I would like to expose you uh, what is our legacy. We already said that everything started in 1991 with uh, Garibaldi, and uh, uh, over there you can see our major operations. United Shield, Allied Force, and Union Freedom, and Unified Protector was the last one. Then we evolved with our heavier capability on board Kabul, and we also uh, completed in 2013 and 14 our, our first carry strike group campaign with Kabul. The next step, the next step is ITST Este. ITST Este is uh, similar to an LHA LHD class, American class, uh, pretty much in dimension, it's pretty close to Kabul, and was recently designated by the Italian MOD as our alternate carrier. So very soon, uh, we will start uh, the JSF adaptation process 